Okay. So when you're playing bluegrass and, and you're playing the banjo, you can think in terms of there being eight beats per measure, all right? And some people may call it something else, but just so that we're consistent, I'm going to say we have eight beats per minute. So the first beat is the down beat. Now, typically, bluegrass is played a measure at a time. So you play a measure of G, and then you may play another measure of G, and then you play maybe a C. But the point is that that change almost always occurs on that first beat, okay? So to keep track of it, if you play a one measure roll pattern that repeats, then you know that every time you start it, you're starting a new measure and you just internalize that. So the seven note roll is, is basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, oh, I'll do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the question is what roll should I use? Well, Paul had one where he played the third string, the first string, and then he did two, five, three, one, five, three, one. Well, the significance of that is on, on the first beat, he's, he arrives at the same place each time. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And um, if you do a forward and backward roll, which is five, three, one, five, one, three, five, one. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. But wait, that's not enough instruction to be clear. So you, you can turn that up, but what I want you to do.